Hello and welcome to Resident Evil 6. My name is Tain Tutali. You may have seen me on the stage before. I did the 102 Dalmatians race just yesterday. And uh, this time I'm doing a co-op thing with... I'm Texan Red Wolf and uh, this is my first ever GDQ. So it's a real great time to be able to do this with uh, one of my best buddies. And um, we also have someone with us on commentary. We can start with the couch here. Sounds good. Uh, I'm McDysis. I really like RA6. I think it's a cool game. <laughs> it is a cool game. And we also have an online yeah, I'm commentator. Retro. Oh, yeah, sorry. Go on. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> no, I'm Retro Art. Uh, I am a Resident Evil 6 enjoyer. I do not speed run this game, but I love watching it. And I'm just so happy to be here. So <laughs> really looking forward to this. Yeah, Retro is our resident game expert, if you will. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think we're ready to go. So uh, can who, we get... which campaign are we doing? Your favorite. We got Jake's story as the winner. Let's go. Yes. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone who donated for Jake. It's the best co-op campaign, and I'm so glad we got to do this. Uh, Ada's cool, too, but yeah. Jake's just more engaging. Yeah. Um, First of all, super shout out to Maxi for yes. sniping that thousand dollar donation and throwing it in for us. We yep. appreciate you. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and then for reference That's as well, amazing. if they're on Ada, Ada was designed to be single player, so it's kind of weird at the co-op. Even though yeah. Jake and Sherry is one of the co-op campaigns, so it's gonna be a lot more fun, I think. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so first thing. Unless we get the Sherry and Agent, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so the first thing I need to make sure that I did is that we are on Amateur because it is the easiest difficulty. I pop in as Jake, and we are going to immediately invite Tally, and hopefully what we get is her joining into the game immediately. Also, FYI for whoever is running the timer, as soon as the screen fades to black after I've joined is when the time starts. Yeah. So let's see if the invite will work. Hopefully it will. Yeah, normally joining in this game, it takes like one or two times. All right, we're but in. We're perfect. So All time right. starts after the loading screen. Now. now. <laughs> All right. All right. We're immediately skipping a cutscene. And uh, we're just going to bum rush it. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> So to start things off really quickly, um, both players will be playing on controller because this game moves really weirdly. Like you kind of cruise your character. So you, like I think you hold down A to run, and yep. then you like move both the camera and the controller for both players. So doesn't mean an early movement thing, and it's really weird for this game in particular. So you want to make sure that they're on controller. Yeah, yeah. Uh, keyboard and mouse like waves around an insane amount, and it's very weird. Um, as you saw, I like <laughs> I, I slid around and uh, fell off the ladder, which caused Tally to have to wait for a hot second. Uh, but this opening bit is we're just cur we're currently running away from uh, the. I believe it's the BSAA, yep. Um, it is. Because Jake was infected in that cutscene that we skipped uh, with the C virus, which is the main virus of this uh, of this Resident Evil game. And so we're just gonna we're gonna putter along. Um, if uh, if you if we if you want to do any donations, we we've got the time already. Yeah, let's hear from the Jake enjoyers. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? I got you. We have twenty dollars. Twenty dollars from Liam Clary, who says Jake's campaign in RE6 is just too wonderful to pass up. Let's see a fist fight with a not nemesis. <laughs> All right. So, um, I, if you saw on Tally's screen, uh, she ended up running through the house before I did, which means that she gets um, a cutscene that I won't. So I achieve. I get. Do you need me to? No, I'm good. Just go. Okay. Just go. Uh, she'll get a cutscene that I don't end up getting, which is why I get to that door first. Um, and Tally fell off of that ledge because that ledge is very finicky and doesn't like when anyone gets a little bit too close to it. Yeah, there's a couple ledges like that in the game. There's another part too where we'll be holding the left side. You'd think you might fall off on the left, but no, you can just hug the left. But if you go too close to the right, you will fall. I and don't know why Jake is going all over these ledges today. Right now, we're hitting the first point that makes RA6 really fun, which is the co-op difference, because different characters have different talents. On uh, this game, Jake is an acrobat, so Texan will be running up ahead while uh, he'll have to lower the path for Tally. Uh, you can definitely see on the Sherry side, ladder broken, can't get up, uh, so Texan is going to make sure that he goes around. Uh, while this is happening as well, we're going to different sets of enemies to deal with and just different things as a whole. Um, and there they go, they're back together. Yeah. Yeah, you're, throughout this run, Jake and Sherry get separated quite a bit, um, and each each side is rather interesting. Um, when we get into a later chapter where we're escaping a prison, we end up being able to be separated, but also working well together, so that um, we're able to escape the prison. This is one I talked about, where you hug the left, you're totally fine, you're not going to fall off. If you even think about going right, you're going to fall. Yeah. 
it's, it's weird. It, the collision on that is very weird. I don't know why it happens like that, and I always hug that quarter too hard and ram myself in there. And once again, we're going to split up. Yeah. Because again, this campaign was designed for co-op. I'm going to reload because I'm missing a bullet. Yeah, I need to do that in a bit here, but you got your path open first. Yep. Uh, another thing we could talk about really quickly as well is that uh, when we were beginning, we actually had to make sure we picked the proper skill sets. Uh, they have a variety of upgrades that you get with money. It's actually why it's New Game Plus. So you're going to have different upgrades per character. Uh, I'm pre pretty sure uh, Tally and Tex will be telling us what they're equipping later on. Yeah. Um, yeah, right now the main thing that we have is basically a general skill set for this, which is infinite magnum and also a magnum power-up skill, uh, which does require you to have finished a game and also have gotten a certain amount of kills. Not show up. That is kind of a perk in New Game Plus, being able to bring some of those skills you've already earned back into the game for further playthroughs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very useful though, especially in this game when when you're not playing it as co-op, because your AI partner is is not the most intelligent, you know, bolt in the box. They try. <laughs> I think they I do really their best. <laughs> I think I realized why this mouse on this computer was turned off when I got here, because something is interfering with my controller. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, so, uh -oh. <laughs> so oh. as uh, Kung Fu mentioned in uh, a donation earlier, uh, this is not Nemesis, uh, but we like to call him by his true name, which is Ustinok, and he is the uh, the big bad that chases Jake and Shane. Oh, my God. Uh, that was so close. You <laughs> oh, my God. It. So uh, really quick for reference, uh, Tally started uh, slightly turn around. The camera yeah. will do that. If you barely miss that, it's a one-shot kill. I'm going to oh, just yeah. turn this off in case this is what's messing with my controller. Oh, absolutely. Right. <laughs> I'm just hanging there anyway. Just hanging out. All right. What a lad. It's okay. Don't worry. If you like Ustanak, you'll see a lot more of him. Way too much. <laughs> um, we're... <laughs> The hell is that We're gonna thing? get uh, near the end of the the He's run. Our us. favorite part with Ustanok exists. So, look. Oh, it is. Get out there. My favorite sequence from the entire game. Oh, absolutely. It's it makes no sense. Uh, right now, as well, we are going to be gearing up for our first boss yeah. fight, which it should be neat to see what they have in store for us. Yeah, I'm just gonna check which skill set I need to use. I think you're still on Magnum. No, but it, I want the one with shooting wild. Ah, yeah. Um. Uh, if you're able to explain what Shooting Wild is, I can't remember. I don't use it. Okay, so Shooting Wild is basically uh, something that will greatly increase your damage. It reduces, uh, removes your crosshair, though. Uh, but it does, again, yeah, really uh, increase your damage. All right, here we go. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to avoid that. We're going to let him ram. And then he has iframes at the start of this. And we're going to shoulder swap. Oh, my God. <laughs> My first boss fight. Yeah, oh, that's the very that's first boss, boss fight. fight. <laughs> yep. I've never um, seen that that quick. <laughs> so, so what we did there is uh, we did this fun thing called shoulder swapping, which you will see in the next air quotes boss fight. Um, and uh, it's where we rapidly swap between um, both of our guns to stop the Magnum from kicking back. Um, when, when we get to this next section, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about, because um, I have to draw aggro from the boss. And there's basically two ways to do that. You can also do it by just a shoulder swap, but it's way easier to do it with the, the weapon swap. Because especially if you switch to the pistol, they have basically the same like aiming animation. So it's, it's a lot easier than trying to shoulder swap, which bounces your reticle up and down. Uh, Ogre Man skip first try? Uh, maybe, let's see. So the idea behind the Ogre Man skip here is this is a big boy right here. And what you're supposed to do isn't actually killing the Ogre Man. It's buying enough time for Redfield and friends to bomb all the turrets or the anti-air guns yeah, or something like that. They're being slow. Um, so what's going to happen, though, is, is the Ogre Man's actually strong enough to do it, but it's really awkward. I've got aggro. You got aggro. OK. Let's see you got that. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Oh. No, 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 no. Come get this Jake cake. Just for reference, this is a lot harder in Jake's campaign. It's a lot more yes. consistent in Chris because he's programmed to kind of focus on Chris. Okay, we're just uh, gonna, we're we're gonna annihilate him. It's gonna right, be faster. Yeah, they're stuck. I'm gonna hang on. So we just time. like go over there, please. Thank you. Yeah. Once once we deal with Ogre Man, I'll explain what we what we had ideally wanted to happen is getting aggro off of him to be able to hit this nifty little turret over here. Is he down? Uh, no. Ooh. Oh, maybe? Okay. Ogre Man's down. Yeah. He is. All right, cool. Perfect. Okay. Very nice. Um, Chris and company is here. Oh! You know what? We don't hate Finn today. He got to his spot. 
perfectly. Uh, yeah, he was just waiting because Chris and Pierce were stuck down here for a while, but I just shot them because if you shoot uh, other NPCs with the Magnum, I think they take damage, but the NPCs themselves don't really, so I just kind of knocked them into the path where they needed to go so they could continue pathing. Um, so real quick, well, we've got a brief moment of downtime and me avoiding Pierce shooting me in the face with a right sniper rifle. Um, the, so this is our weapon swap. You see how we're not getting that kickback? Whereas when we do this, we get kickback. We don't want that. That makes firing way slower than it needs to be. Um, and then I don't actually remember how to do shoulder swapping just because the... Uh, it's, the it's this thing. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, shoulder swapping is aim. And then you fire while you're swapping shoulders. Yeah. You don't have a great um, hold on the aim there, though, which uh, is kind of unfortunate. Yeah. Um, but this is kind of a bit of an auto scroll. We're basically just waiting for Finn. We need to blow up this turret, the one up there, and then the one over there. So, Fu, do you maybe have more messages for us? I definitely have donations for you all. We have $10 from Robin, the cowardly merchant, who says $10 to the Pixel Party. Yeah. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Who doesn't want to see the final boss beaten in a fist fight? Good luck, Tally and Tex, and become Shake. Okay, that's the next target. <laughs> that's some great community memes there. Uh, for reference, I guess, heads up for the end of this. We call it the Pixel Party when we get to, like, the final boss. There's going to be some serious screen tearing. We and promise it's not the stream, it's no. the game. <laughs> it's, it's the game. It probably usually looks even worse on our PCs, actually, compared to what it looks on the game. So, yeah, yeah. Come on, Finn. It's the pixel party. OK, you want me to go up top? Sure. OK. I'll wait down here. All right. So I'm going to make my way up top. I'm going to murder, uh, take out these enemies uh, so that our good boy Finn can come up here and deal with this turret. Uh, this turret is the only turret that we're not able to get an Ogre Man skip on uh, because of how high up it is. And we, uh, we don't actually have an Ogre Man to manipulate. Yeah, so this one we just have to do basically the casual way with just waiting for Finn to do his thing. So, I mean, if you've got more donos, Phil, we can go for it. Yeah, I sure do. We have $10 from Kuno, who says, just wanted to say good luck to Tainted Tally and Texan Red Wolf. Two of the nicest people in the world running together is unbeatable. I know you both will do wonderful. Less than three. Aw, oh, thanks, Kuno. Nice. Would you like another? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, we're, we're going to be here for a hot minute. Um, okay. <laughs> Finn, Finn's still got some time. Um, so yeah, keep going. All righty, we have $10 from Killer Chair, who says, hey, speed friends. One day I will join you wonderful folks for a GDQ event, and I can't wait for that day. Good luck on the run, Tally. And hello, handsome folks in the audience. You're looking good today. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Killer Chair. All right, Finn, he's almost done. He's got a quarter away left. Uh, if you got any more. I do. We have ten dollars from Street Back Guy. Street Back Guy. There we go. Who says hello, Tex and Tally? You've both been practicing hard for this day, so I know you'll show the run off in the best way. P.S. Agent is the best RE6 character. Don't at oh, me. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we don't talk about Nunk. <laughs> All right, I've been trying to troubleshoot my controller while this was all going on since we're just waiting anyway. So hopefully now I will not have uh, any more uh, things trying to mess with my movements. It was the perfect time for it. I know. Yeah. Okay, and here's our second ogre man of the section. Um, he's not our friend because he never cooperates to deal with the turret that's over here. Yeah, it's really, it, really difficult. If you thought the first one was difficult, this one's worse. <laughs> um, I, I bit, but, chapter but now, one has a lot of waiting. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm basically going to be pathing. Like, as soon as this path is open, I'm going to run ahead, trigger a checkpoint, uh, and then we're going to do our first checkpoint reset of the run. Oh, I actually need to pay attention. Never mind. You do. <laughs> so yeah. uh, talking really quick about checkpoint resetting is uh, the players are normally designed to, you know, like you have free movement for the most part. However, if you get checkpoints, what's going to happen is you have to reset them. Both pairs will teleport to the same spot. So right now, it's going to make sense that one player could run ahead, the other player is behind. So either, uh, Tally's, I, I think Tally's going to be dragging Texan later by a quick check when reset, they'll reset both their clients. It's going to come in way in handy later, and it's a nice little boost right now. Yeah, so I'm just so waiting for that checkpoint. the top of the stairs is going to about to hit there, and checkpoint. All right, we're going to reset, and everyone's going to magically be where Tally is. Yeah. There you go. Even the NPCs are here now, which is so much faster than just waiting for them to path all on their own. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try and escort Finn to his uh, turret. I'm also going to kick down this ladder just in case Tex needs it. 
I always need it. Because I, I have to get on top of uh, Ogre Man's back. If you notice that he's got a little node in there. Well, to take him down faster, we need to be able to uh, have this node out. So I can use a little quick time event. Um, and then now that this node's out, I can um, shoulder, I, I can, I can um, weapon swap. Uh, fire at him and take him out before he gets to this gate if uh, if he works with me appropriately. Yeah, Finn's and, doing his job over here, so just try and kill him as fast as you can. We're good. Oh yeah, we forgot to mention our favorite part of Resident Evil 6. Uh, this is a fun tip casually as well if you've never played this game, but QTs in this game really just tell how fast you spin the analog stick. <laughs> However, it counts both analog sticks. Yep. So if you uh, twirl both of them, it goes twice as fast and you break out anything you want. It's really, really efficient. So if there's you're wondering how is Tex doing it that fast, that's how. Yeah, and there's also a skill you can use as well called Breakout, which will also add more speed on top of that. Yeah, Tally uses Breakout the most between the two of us because she tends to do the most quick time events. All right, it looks and, like you just got him. Uh, yeah, he's down. All right, cool. And Finn just finished too, so that was perfect. Oh, that timing, so beautiful. So yeah, normally if you don't take uh, second Ogre Man down fast enough, he's going to chuck a car through this gate and then electrocute himself. Yep. But we could completely bypass that. And now we just wait for him to melt and we're good to go. Yeah, just waiting for the game to check that we've done everything we need to do. So, I mean, while we're waiting, if you have any more donations. I sure do. <laughs> All righty, we have um, $21.79 from Unfamiliar Cornball, who says, I have such good memories of playing through RE6 with my BFF when it first came out, and we recently started playing through it again. Wrecked my sleep schedule, staying up all night to watch this and Dead Rising 2. Thanks for bringing us so many fun runs. All right, so we have our second Usnak boss fight here. Uh, the idea here is that there's to be launching bullets at him the moment he gets in. Uh, we're looking for that tiny grenade that I think he's chucking in. That's him yep. blowing up the helicopter. He's tired of getting shot. He's like, okay, I'm done with this. Uh, and now we're going to be hitting some QTEs and a uh, fight where I think they need to use the turrets. Can you actually use the New Game Plus guns on this fight? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be easier then. Yep. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's going to get annihilated. Where is my prompt? There it is. Okay. Sometimes this game doesn't like to prompt the co-op stuff, so I you'll see me like wiggle around every so often to try and get Get it to trigger. I just love how the explosion launches him. <laughs> you have a cool explosion. Absolutely. Yeah, so like we, uh, Ek just asked, can we use the new game plus uh, weapons? Yes, that's what I'm about to do. I got my Magnum, I got my Shooting Wild. As soon as he pops up, I'm gonna try and just annihilate him. Yeah, I think it takes like, what, three shots? Uh, depends. Yeah, there it is. And then I don't shoot at all because I need to make sure that I'm fully loaded to be able to take this out. Tank. There we go. There you go. Oh, and we're about to end the, the first chapter. Yep. We just have there to one QT and we're done. hit A and go. <laughs> chapter one. They also Very have a bunch nice. of scores and stats here to see how they were doing and yeah, the accuracy. That was a pretty good accuracy for us <laughs> both. Uh, I'm going to switch to this now, I think. Hang on, let me just double. Yeah, is this. Uh, also, uh, with RE6 runs, New Game Plus tends to be pretty popular for a few reasons. The most important one is that it's really hard and kind of tedious to set up New Game because there's no way of just clearing a New Game file natively. You have to like go to your Steam files and mess with that each time. So a lot of players just like New Game Plus, and then you have the advantages of all the fights and stuff. So, so um, we're in probably the most notorious chapter for me personally um, because I need to use the snowmobile. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and I'm not good with the snowmobile. Um, uh, however, I also believe that the snowmobile was uh, programmed a little silly. Um, actually, all the vehicles in this game were programmed a little silly, silly because if you go up a hill, it slows down and you, your, your vehicle doesn't move forward. So um, this is uh, another one of those instances where Tally and I are going to end up splitting up. Uh, so we have to go find um, data chips that uh, fell out of Sherry's pocket uh, during that helicopter explosion. 
Yes, yeah, so we're gonna basically kind of abuse the checkpoint status. Again, I'm going to the one closest to where we need to go, and then I'm basically gonna be just waiting there uh, yeah. until Tex takes or picks up the other two, and then we can reset the checkpoint again, and he's gonna be right by me. I didn't want to take that ladder, but sometimes Jake's, Jake is like, nah, I gotta climb. So I'm gonna come up this very icy hill, and the problem with this hill being so icy is that if I get knocked down, I slide all the way to the bottom and have to start over again. Yep. You know what I really hate too when you're running this? If you accidentally like do a dive, because you can roll and dive in this game, if you accidentally do it on the hill, you just... Yeah, you just slide back down. Yeah, you're going all the way back. <laughs> okay, there's a snowmobile here and we've taken it out. Um, so I'm going to try and do a silly little strat, um, which is I'm going to get on this. I'm going to pray that I accelerate appropriately and I'm going to wiggle my way up Unless there is, it is just crying right now. My I, God, it is. Yeah. Okay. We're we're uh, we're not gonna do it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We don't need it. Uh, we land in the perfect position. We're just gonna run and grab the stuff. Um, so ideally, what I wanted to do was be able to get that snowmobile up here so that I can get these keys faster instead of running, um, because you're able to take that snowmobile and drive it across this bridge to get the uh, the second key that gets picked up. So I pick up two keys. Um, and then Tally picks up the key that she's next to so that I can reset the checkpoint. So, well, I run there if, uh, if you have any more donations. <laughs> I always have donations for you all. Here we go. <laughs> we have uh, $50 from Metal Waldo who says, let's go, let's see that Jake campaign on RE6. Much love all. We also have a $15 donation from uh, Kakususora, who says a Canadian in the audience decided to wake up early and wear her best tuxedo to support her favorite Texan. Less than three. I didn't know if that checkpoint was uh, yours oh, or not. No. Yeah, oh, or mine. Was. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so uh, I keep getting lost here. here. Yeah. And so uh, because I reset that checkpoint, uh, I teleported to where Tally is because that's where the checkpoint was. Also, thank you, Sora, for the, the donations. So are you, two, are you two ready for your favorite part? Uh, no. I am ready. So, I have a text is on. <laughs> so here's, here's a caveat to this next section. We're about to do snowmobiles, and uh, I am notoriously bad at snowmobiles. I believe I've lost many a run to this. Um, both solo and uh, co-op. Um, now, the caveat here is every death I take, I'm donating $10. However, if we get it first try, I'll donate 50 All right. Ooh. All right. And then just for reference in the snowmobiles, there's a lot that can go wrong. One, there's obstacles everywhere, so you can ram into trees, you can hit walls. Uh, two, the players have to remain within a certain distance or else it's going to be like, oh, you died, the one player's too far ahead means you're failing. Uh, before you get to that, though, we have a cabin section, uh, same as many cabins uh, like you before. You're going to want to make sure you kill all the uh, the Javo here as fast as you can. Uh, they're going to spawn in the front at first. It looks like they got them all there, and now they're going to spawn uh, behind. Uh, they're looking in a certain area right now. That's because that's, that's where the spawn's going to be. They're just gunning for it as quickly as they can. Uh, I want to say it's like three sets of dudes. Yeah, because now the second one comes in here, and there's going to be a couple more uh, in front. And then we're done, we can leave. And you knock down the table for a reason, right? I, I just like to do it. <laughs> Fair enough. It's oh. a reason. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> you shoot that. That's what happens when you accidentally shoot people uh, with the Magnum. It has yeah. a lot of knockback, but that's fine. All right, here we go. Time for the snowmobiles. Gosh, where are we? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, boy. Okay, we might die to the avalanche by accident, oh, no. but it's okay. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All right, let's go. All right, we're good. <sighs> okay, uh, you go ahead first. Sure. Okay. Well, I mean, it's going to do that anyway. So you see me, like, try not to ride up on Tally's uh, behind uh, purely because if we slam into each other too much, it will mess up our momentum uh, and pull us in separate ways. Now, the beginning of this snowmobile section is uh, rather simple. Uh, we just kind of hang out um, to the right. Uh, go through some trees. Uh, the section that is the worst is uh, when there's ice crumbling all around us. So I'm just gonna focus on yeah, this. Yeah, I'm just focusing on trying not to hit any of the trees. Oh, I have one. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Let's say we are about the end of the trees here. Yep. 
Uh, the next section is one of the easier ones. The big thing here is they want to remain roughly in the middle. Again, not too close to each other because it's a bit awkward on that. But around the middle is going to make sure you don't get crumble either way. The game's kind of awkward if you hang too far left or right, so it might be lead to an immediate death. Uh, but we are hitting the tunnel, and then we have that Fable the Ice Wall. And uh, I, I don't know if the runners want me to explain the Ice Wall. They're got it on this you, one. But... You can do it. Okay. Yeah, go I'll, for yeah, it. They're, they're hard folks right now. So the Ice Wall is a problem because it's going to have a lot of moving parts, including walls, lifts, and then you move in a very particular way. So we're going to start by moving over here. Uh, they want to make sure they're moving you know, similar directions, but not quite, because if they hit each other, it goes wrong. If they barely fall off, it goes wrong. There's, oh, there's the wall. Oh, oh. no. Nope. Okay, we got it. They're, 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 it's not over yet. You got the QT and... Let's go first try. They're in there. Yeah. It's really hard. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. I was, that, that wall coming down first, I was like, are you going to make it? Are you going to oh, make, yeah, make it? Are you going to make it? Every time, it's always that, that wall beautiful. that just oh, gyps oh, me absolutely. in. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Uh, and then we're going <sighs> to hug the right, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So we don't There's get some hit bats by these flying bats, here. So. If you hug the right, they're not going to hit you. If you hug the left, they're going to stun you. You would have a bat time. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly switching back, this is what we talked about earlier with the breakout. Uh, and then another optimization we can do here as well that you just saw is that I will try to try and rotate it as fast as possible. Oh. And then the other player, whoever doesn't do the rotating, uh, will immediately be able to hit B before the player actually rotating the door will. So it's just faster to do it that way. So now we're really going to be seeing the co-op section pick up here. Uh, the idea is uh, you're going to have to have these dumpsters and you have these sentries. Uh, you can kill them right away ways. you're getting a melee kill because it's stealthy. If you shoot them, the S knacks to be aware. We're actually doing this one on purpose here because uh, you can run past it. And uh, Texan here, I'm pretty sure, is going to just zoom to the, the next area. We're going to see how they're doing it. Uh, but you can actually make it decently far. Right, Let's see. Oh, they're going all the way reset, to the checkpoint. Reset. Yeah, we're resetting the here. checkpoint here because they already got here, meaning the us going to lose aggro and now they're here. Uh, I don't know if they're how risky they're going to play this section. Oh, we're doing a risky. Oh, oh my risky. Okay. Let's go. We're going. So what let's is see marathon if marathon save? Uh, let's see it here. <laughs> so the risky strat is you kill the second one. No, we kill the first one. The, the second first one gets a CS. Okay, and they're just going to zoom. Uh, you can't do this solo normally because uh, Jake or Sherry, depending on who you're playing, won't help you. But since they're co-op, they can just do this immediately. And they must finish this co-op act before the Usnack finds them. It's an immediate kill because he has the drill. And uh, the funny part is uh, they alert the Usnack. And even though he's behind them, now he's ahead of them because he heard the icicle and he's really just, he's, he's focused. He heard ice. Oh no, the slide. That's the other worst part of this be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be great. <laughs> All right, we have one more of the stealth sections here. Which we don't stealth. No, yeah, that's, a, that's a fun part of this. You just kind of zoom. Yeah, it's, it, we, we basically break in the door. We roughly kick it in, and we're like, hey, Ustinok, we're here. What are you going to do about it? And then laugh on it. Laugh at him. And the breakout really comes in handy here because you don't have to even worry about the uh, the thing. Also, it's kind of funny because you'll see uh, Tally twisting the door and then Texan following up. And it's just like the models look weird on the other side because you can actually do that. It's a nice way of doing the doors here. I heard him get up on Tally yeah. and I was very stressed out for I that. was a bit nervous too. Also, this one's really hard. Let's see if we can do it as the slide. Don't hug to the right. Don't hug to the right. Uh, so the slide we're talking about here is when you're finishing this, you have to slide in like a little hole at the bottom of a cave. If you just miss it, it's slightly awkward, and we're good. We got it. We got it first try. Let's go. Very yeah. Nice. Camera angles in this game get a little wacky. Um, there's, I believe it's in chapter four. Um, I tend to get really confused because camera angles are like, well, I'm going to have you face this way, even though you want to go a different way. Oh, now you have the ultimate stealth section, right? We're going to be oh, so absolutely. quiet. We're not so setting quiet. up any explosives. Yeah, why would we do that? It's so silly. All right, so the goal here is they're going to be getting a key card. Uh, and that's going to be on Tally's end here on the Sherry end. And then uh, the Jake side is going to be, I think, just you yep. can distract the Usnack here. Yeah, just blow it up. Yep, there we go. Uh, the distraction is now going to be because normally the Sherry player wants to play it stealthier here, but it's just a speed run. You're just going to zoom past the ice. Just make all the noise. He's not going to go notice. Fast. <laughs> yeah, that's why we distract him with the, the grenade first so he runs away, and then we can just run over. He's not going to make it back in time. And then more door strats. Yeah. I remember when we figured this out, and we were like, oh my gosh. <laughs> remember the era How of QTE quick? gaming? Yeah, gosh, yeah. Yeah, I remember the era of QTE gaming. It was not a good time. And this exact door strat exists in RE5 as well. 
Oh, uh, well, and so we're, we're just going to go through a few doors um, and deal with some QTs uh, if you want to read some off some more donos. Absolutely. We have $10 from Nico with a C who says, Hi, Tally. Hi, Texan. Super proud to see you both on the GDQ stage doing RE6. Thank you so much for letting me sub for you that one time, Texan. You guys are amazing. Also, don't crash for the bike. You know, how I did. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Nico. Yeah, thank you, Nico. I appreciate you uh, subbing in for me. <laughs> how about another one? Go sure. for it. $25 yeah. from Chubby Boy, who says coffee's up. Breakfast nears, and Winston, the screaming ginger, and I are watching Dad mash buttons really fast again. Good luck, good run. <laughs> so with this QTE fight, there's one really awkward thing because what's happening on one side is you have the twisting QTE and then the activation. It's like, oh, you're working a drill. You have to have two sets of QTEs per player. However, halfway through, they're actually going to start swapping. So you'll see I'll then go to the other end. One player starts doing the twisting stuff, and then the other one has to do the activation button. Uh, it's pretty lenient because it's kind of like a, I guess, a tug of war sort of deal. And uh, I think they have one more. Yeah, this is the last one. And it's an A instead of a right trigger. It's yeah. really weird how they swap it, right? Mm-hmm. I, it's, uh, the swap, although it seems random, uh, after a while you realize that it's the exact same thing every single time. So, uh, Jake and Sherry, at the end of this chapter, got captured. What? 100%, wow. <laughs> well done. <laughs> but, I'll say a point, Dale. My favorite part of that is easily that you're trying to kill the Ustanok with a drill, and he's just trying to drill it right back. Yep. <laughs> it's a, one might say it's quite the drill fight. All right, so we're going to start <laughs> by being split up now. You might have noticed I switched to a skill set that actually has defense now instead of damage, also melee and Jawo killer, because uh, we got captured. Uh, so now we don't have any of our stuff. Until we get the guns back, uh, I will be playing melee, and I'm going to be trying to stealth this next section once... Uh, Tex opens the door for me. I'm definitely going to say right now, the Texan side, the Jake side, is going to be the one to watch. It's going to be a lot of just kind of melee combat. This is where Jake really comes in handy, because Jake's a unique character. He has melee attacks. He doesn't have a knife. He just punches things. Yep. Yep. Um, although, if um, when uh, Tally's about to, on her end, get a code, if I don't remember the code... Please remind me. <laughs> I will. I will try. I'll pay attention to the code here as well. Thank you. Also, do you use the number sequence like one, two, three, four, five, six? Or? Oh no. Oh, your shape? No. Like, I have to say shapes. I don't no, shapes well, I usually memorize. do like top left, top middle. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. That's easier. Honestly, one, two, three, four, five, six sounds like a way oh, better I can, option. I can, I can, it's it's, it's, it's can you reset? Oh, what body? I can reset. Can you? Use, I somehow this spotted me. I'm not sure how. Maybe I was a bit too fast. No worries. No worries. So the great thing about the read, the checkpoint system in this is if Tally gets caught, I can easily just be like, all right, well, we'll reset. We'll put you back where you were. And hopefully that uh, adjusts, resets, sorry, the enemies in a way that she's able to sneak past them and get the code. Yeah, so basically I need to stealth this section because otherwise the enemies get activated and I need to fight. Uh, what? All right, the timing seems to be different for this than uh, in my home PC, so I, let's try again. One more time? All right. Yeah. No worries. Uh, while we are waiting here as well, uh, after this cell section, we are actually be having uh, Texan give Tally some help. Um, they're separated right now, so obviously can't help each other, but in a moment at one point, uh, Texan will be able to get to a terminal that has a camera that has a turret. Uh, when we're there, uh, he'll be able to just uh, gun down the enemies uh, that are kind of in the way. I am not doing that. You're not helping? <laughs> I'm not helping. Oh, that, oh my god, wow. We usually play it risky and try not to do it. We uh, we yolo a lot in this section. All and right, it I got it. Okay. Okay. okay, so we just need to see the code. Um, excuse me, sir. All right, it is. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, so that's. Oh yeah, I see it. Top, middle, top, middle, bottom, right. Yeah. You know the great thing oh, about oh, doing this. Oh, it's top this? right. Oh, but it was top right. Shit. Yeah. Great thing about doing this, like. IRL is the fact that I can actually just glance over at her screen while she's there doing this. <laughs> That's so a pretty good code. Uh, <laughs> we had one run though where we got like just the best RNG and we got all, all three were the same. Don't stun me, don't stun me. All right, I'm good. Oh, God. I got the door open, so it's fine. Yeah. All right, and they should be back together in one moment here. If you want to read off another dono, you've got time. 
Absolutely. We have $25 from me, Jessica, who says, Tally and Texan, so proud of you both. Keep it up and congrats on that first try. Snow machine collapse. Took me forever, but you guys are pros. Less than three. I have to let my security Thank you, I'm Jessica. Going. Yeah, thank you. That was pure luck, uh, <laughs> just as a heads up. Like It looked great. <laughs> I would have never known. <laughs> oh, I missed. That's okay. All right, so now we're gearing up for our next mission. We're kind of still in the same complex, and what we're going to be having is a slight split up once again, but it's going to be kind of like the uh, snow chapter we had earlier. We need to get 10 coins in total, uh, so they're kind of going to go to different areas to gather different coins. I'm sure they have their own route. Uh, yep. mm -hmm. You both, um, I'm assuming Texans going to the library, and then Tally's going to meet there? Um, no, so Tally gets everything in this first area to, oh my gosh, sir, um, to open up, um, have all the medallions that opens up the um, area that we go to get the last four coins, if I remember correctly, and I go grab those last four coins. I was going to make sure that his carcass stays down because he's got the possibility of cocooning, so we don't want that. Uh, a couple more things as well. Uh, one, the coins they get are actually shared. So if Tally's gathering coins, Texan can put them into the coin slot, which will then allow them to open the two doors they're going to need. Uh, as well, uh, the enemies Texan's referring to are the uh, the Javo enemy. So what happens when you kill certain people, uh, they're not actually going to die. They're going to start molting into like a stronger second form. So if you're not dealing with them, it's going to get really bad. Uh, do you want me to start inserting the... Oh, yeah, you can. I'm almost there, but yeah. Okay, all right. Well, I'll, I'll let you do that. I'll... Also, another thing that you may have noticed, sometimes when we pick up key items as much as possible, we will try to slide. I don't think we mentioned why. Uh, but basically, that's just to skip the animation, because otherwise, if you just, like, stand on top of it and hit X to pick it up, uh, oh, they will shoot, just, uh, shoot. you I know, think I was do the pickup up animation. I hate that door. I always think I have to go to that door to but are trigger you going to do it. the Easter egg? All we have to do now There's an Easter egg here? Yeah, so uh, if you're playing as Jake, uh, if you go to the piano, one will give you one. It's slower, so you don't do it normally. Mm -hmm. oh, but if you play the piano, and specifically you're on Jake, uh, Jake's voice actor is uh, Troy Baker, who also uh, voiced Vincent from Catherine. So if you play the piano, it plays the final boss theme of Catherine. Oh, that's oh so I didn't cool. know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, I love it. You realize that. Yeah, try it out if you want to. I know it's somewhere along the route. Yeah, it's, uh, I believe it's in that first section before we uh, uh, make our way over to the bathhouse. So um, I'm picking up the last four medallions that we need. Uh, it's a very set path. They always show up in the same area. And while I do that, Tally is inserting them into our um, thing over here to open this. And then uh, if I remember correctly, I reset. Yep. And I teleport right over to her. And also despawns the enemies. Most importantly, it despawns the enemies. And uh, for the coins, there are 11, weirdly enough, but this game is a, a fun design, I suppose. It's actually a good thing for the player. Uh, if you get 11, you get an exclusive assault rifle. However, if you just beat the chapter, it'll just give it to you. <laughs> so you don't need it. You just get, beat the chapter, and you're good. Um, who's ready for the most absurd action they've ever Let's seen go. in their life happen? <laughs> are you ready, audience? <laughs> I'm ready. Oh wow, look at that tank just <laughs> busting through a palace wall. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Nothing at all. We're gonna jump, launch, and um, you're gonna see me pop some health tablets because these guys are notorious in knocking me down. Um, if you lose a cube of health, uh, you get instant knockdown. And I wanna make sure that I'm not doing that so that I can come get Tally before she gets, you know, you shot to heck. Yeah, I'm basically just hiding from the tank until the text can pull me up. No. Uh, we're also now about to enter probably one of the more stressful chase scenes. Don't worry, the tank hasn't given up on us yet. Yeah, no, it is. I don't know how it got down here, but it's here. <laughs> Uh, the gimmick of this one, just avoid where the tank is aiming oh. and do not oh. get hit. Oh, God. Uh, that was unlucky. There we go. Oh, <laughs> Oh boy, and oh, it's and still here it comes. Coming. It is not done with us. <laughs> I like how the muzzle just breaks through the uh, the wall without breaking the rest of the wall itself. You know, I have to wonder, who do you think is driving the tank? That's a good question. Some dude that's living his best life. Is like, I'm just going <laughs> to yeah. destroy headquarters. Heck just, it. Imagine it's the Ustinac. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Trying to control it with pops that out drill. Like, hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we have a the drill comes out of the uh, the barrel of the gun. <laughs> the logistics of that. <laughs> This is like a weird minor <laughs> boss fight, if you can call it that. The, the tank has to move a statue. So if you look at Tex inside, uh, he's shooting the tank to aggro the tank, which... Uh, there we go, okay. Yeah, I was like, why is it so far away? Like, I tried to get me for some reason, even though I was hiding in this room. <laughs> I have no idea how many like people will figure this out casually, because it's awkward. Like, you have to like, have the tank just ram the statue, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> and you have this happen three times. And we bait with Jake Cake. All the game's wildest ideas absolutely went into this campaign. <laughs> oh, it's and so I much fun. It. It's so much fun. It's fantastic. I love it. I love every part of it. Yeah, so uh, I'm basically just going to be doing this while uh, Tally uh, handles enemies over there. We've got one more, and then I can jump over and get the motorcycle. So, I mean, if you want to read off a donation, if there's more coming in, go for Hi. it. I could, hear, I could hear it in your voice. You were ready. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> We have $50 from Rot Horse Kid, who says, good luck, Tally and Texan Redwall. Thank you, Tim. We also have $25 from Seb, who says, Resident Evil Hype. Hi. Yes. <laughs> Love that audience participation. <laughs> Me too. All right, and that is chapter three done. Yeah, we've got two more chapters left. Um, this is, I, I want to say this section for the vehicles is the most silly. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. we are. We are not done with the the silliness. By we are jumping the shark. <laughs> oh yeah, we're by the jumping way, something. There's a shark boss fight in another campaign. I just realized that. Oh yeah, yeah it, it is. It's Leon's campaign. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we All are right. also we are going to be jumping something in this, but it's not a shark. But it's probably yeah. equally ridiculous. Oh yeah. So uh, motorcycle section. Uh, Texan will be driving the motorcycle, and Tally will be shooting. Oh, well, I don't actually need to shoot. I'm actually gonna just. Well, I'm it's like decorative. Yeah. Yeah, Tally's here for moral support right now. <laughs> There's yeah. like two places I need to shoot obstacles, and that's it. The rest is just me kind of vibing while uh, Tex is doing all the hard work. We can hug Jake. Just know that if Ada had won, that's what it would have been. Would have been, but in reverse. Yeah, and it would have been for the whole campaign, and not Entire just a little small little segment. Yeah, the Ada campaign was designed, I think, after the original three campaigns, and it was designed to be a solo oh player God. experience. Yay. So I think later they put in co-op for Ada, and they have oh, not man. hunk or what? What do you uh, all call him? Uh, he's. We call him not hunk or nunk, but agent. Nunk, is, I that's believe it. his. Uh... It's kind of great value hunk. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We have Hunk at home. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Texan, if we're doing that, we'll just be like standing around while Tally's like zipping all around on like a, what, the hook, hook, uh, the yeah, the hook shot. shot. Yeah. 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 Um, we would get to comment on Ada's style in this game, which is very nice. It's clever. Yeah. And for those of you who wanted to see Ada, don't worry, she will be making an appearance in this campaign too. Yeah. We'll, we'll specifically point her out. Because uh, Ada is best girl. I do also want to give uh, a lot of credit right now to Texan for driving. This mm. is harder than it looks for the Jake side. Yep. Uh, just because it is not generous on some of the enemies around, and if you just go face first into a car, it's instant death. You don't limp. You, like, you just you explode. I wish I could like shoot forward to actually help him more, but unfortunately, Sherry only aims backwards. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought you were just ignoring the enemies in front of me no, because no, you're I like, can. LOL. <laughs> I, I it is funny in fairness. <laughs> I wish I could. Also, I, I've never driven a motorcycle, but there's going to be some uh, stuff here that I don't know if motorcycles can do this. See, uh, anyone have any expertise? Also, uh, motorcycle QTE. You have to start the motorbike with the QTE. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can. And uh, we don't care that these this bamboo's falling. We're just, just going to go for it. We can, we can blast through it. It's not going to slow us down, nothing like that. The danger of the bamboo is actually bamboozling you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, the motorcycle's made out of wet paper until it doesn't need to be anymore. Yeah. Uh, well, it's like a rock, paper, scissors thing. Maybe cars like rock, motorcycles like wet paper, and then bamboos are like a weird version of scissors, I guess. Yeah, fair. Oh, I just realized I just got the wrong order for that. All right, I need to shoot again, but this time I don't even need to aim. All I need to do is just hit the trigger, so... Really? Yeah. I don't need... It's a big target. There. Huh. Oh, I need to do. <laughs> I helped, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, no. you shot forward. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for anyone, whenever I like glance over at Tally's screens, because I don't know what goes on on her end, because we, we, we do this online. This is our first time doing this run in person. And cheers with that. Yeah. All right. 
We're gonna deal with the uh, the helicopter one more time with a nice little QTE. We're just gonna press A. I just love that slide so much. It's so good. <laughs> Those tires and the side of that bike are messed up. Um, and this section, I really like giving Tally heart attacks in. Uh, Sometimes Z Sync precarious. will make this look very scary too, on my side at least. We can also stress out the audience. <laughs> Yeah, this is the one section I really was mentioning earlier about how uh, how hard this is to drive a motorcycle. The walls are fine, but any of these cars, it's going to be rough. And we're going to finish up with more cars being launched at us in a moment here. Yeah. To be fair, I was doing that on purpose. I'm normally very smooth, and I tend to hug to the right because there's more gaps. Well, you're showing off your skills for GDQ. It, exactly. I, so, I would have manipulation. Felt, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I would have felt really silly, though, if I still went face first into a truck. <laughs> Oh, well, you did get the snowmobiles first try. Yeah, yeah, honestly. <laughs> yeah, so we, we deal with these guys, um, tossing stuff, kicking us. Oh, hey, here's our helicopter friend back. And, right, so uh, remember when we said we were going to jump something, but it's not a shark? Yeah, you can take a guess as to what we're about to jump. Okay, so the way that I handle this uh, because these cars are coming at us at a fast pace. Um, I don't know if it's appropriately scripted or if it's random, but I do my best to kind of hang out in the middle and I'll hover over here. Here we go, hold on! So car-wise, I think they just try to aim them at you. Yeah, yeah, I, I've been testing it out uh, over the runs that right, we here do. we go. Yeah, here, here we are. We are jumping the helicopter. Through the blade. <laughs> Through the blade. Yep. Yeah. The distance of what's happening in that scene makes no sense. It's incredible. <laughs> he just passed the QTE. That's what happened. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hold up. I'd love to see that scene with just like a close-up of the Ustinok just looking on in awe as you jump the helicopter. Okay. So we have another section that's kind of meant to be this weird co-op co-op, like co-op plus. Um, if you're playing this, uh, you also have the Chris and Piers campaign happening in Adjacent. They're on the upper side. Uh, meanwhile, you have Jake and Sharon on the lower side. So first things first, they're just killing all the enemies. Uh, they are being careful of the Javo, and they're using weapons that just blow them immediately. Uh, the reason why is because if you shoot some of these Javo, I think it's if you shoot them in the legs, they turn into flying Javo, and they're hard to hit. Yeah. As well, are you damaging the helicopter early? Yeah, yeah, you, that's, that's how, yeah, that's awesome. how we try and do. Yeah, it's kind of a pain. Uh, luckily, though, uh, Tally has the grenade launcher and is just doing a ton of damage to this, so they'll just go down clean. Uh, there's some terrible RNG later if they don't do this on new game runs, uh, but luckily this bypass is one of the worst sections of the Jake and Cherry campaign. Oh, I, think, I think we need, like, what, one or two more hits? We're close, okay. I think. Yeah, I see that. Uh, if you want to pop off a donation, go for it <laughs> while yeah, we struggle. Absolutely. So, so the lesson that I'm learning today is as long as I nail all my QTEs, I'll survive anything. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Just, just, exactly. just hit it. Yeah, hit it. Okay, cool. All right, we also have $10 from Guardian Broly who says, oh, geez, we got Tainted Tally and Texan Red Wolf? I must be in a dream. <laughs> Thank you, Broly. Why is it not going down as fast it as it normally just, does? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this helicopter section is very finicky because we we are dealing with a bunch of uh, Javo while also there, there we go. while also trying to deal with uh, the helicopter. This way. Uh, okay. I do love the fact as well that there is a combination you can do casually, or uh, if you're on the new game as well, where you can get Jake to climb a rope and he will just punch the helicopter. There's pilot. Chris in the gang, by the way, up there. Oh, is, oh, did we see him? Uh, I saw the BSA at least walking away until they blipped into the air. I love the despawns. <laughs> Just, oh, and they're gone. So what happens for the helicopter fight now? Oh, it's the same. It still shows up, but... Uh, it's yeah. more of an RNG fest because it likes to hang out in at Chris's side. Are you going to go for it? No. Aww. I'm going to step on Tally, though. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, sometimes you'll hear me mutter, like, uh, a three-second count, and it's to stop me from doing what I just did to Tally, um, which is stunning her by falling on top of her. Help! With what? Yeah, so in this section, like, I'm not really able to get high enough up to really hit the helicopter consistently. And again, we have Chris like as like a crossover co-op in this, and the helicopter is some aggro's more on Chris than it does uh, us. What are you doing? Come here. 
There's also a lot of RNG on where the helicopter will go sideways. Uh, sometimes it likes to lean on the left, sometimes it leans on the right. Uh, uh, they pick a pretty good side for what it's worth. It looks like it's dropping enemies on the right. What, what do you call it? Left or right? Here, I will be very happy. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to swap over to. I don't know what I'm trying to do. Out of my range. Oh, maybe not. Oh. Okay, we got it. Did nice. Chris get it or did you two get it? We got it. Uh, oh, good. Chris never I did not gets get it. it. But yeah. Oh. Um, what I was struggling to do there was uh, get my assault rifle set up because it's got a lot of penetration power. Um, and it's just faster than the grenade launcher because for Jake and Sherry, they don't get like a grenade launcher that has like six shells. It's the single shell. So having to reload and do all of that over and over again can be rather frustrating and time consuming. So I'm just like, heck it, we're gonna use the assault rifle. We're not the bad guy, Jake. Also, I guess we never talked about the story of this campaign. No, we did not. Uh, the story is that uh, they have the um, the new virus that's like, you know, the T-virus in this game, whatever the equivalent is. And it's the C-virus. Yeah, yeah, it's the C-virus. Yeah, the and then um, uh, with the game as well, Jake has like antibodies in his body and Sherry wants us to make a vaccine. So Jake's like, oh, give me $100 million. Uh, so I guess you're just trying to work a way to get Jake's uh, blood. Uh, be, be, be wary behind you, Tally. I don't think I blew his head up enough. Uh, he might cocoon. Just fair warning. <laughs> All right, uh, we had Texan over here open the door for Tally. Uh, usually we're gonna have one player going up, but one player stays on the bottom side. Uh, mainly because uh, throughout a lot oh, of these sections, there's oh, oh, wait. Oh, we're getting this. Oh, no. Wait, what is okay. this? Uh, so this has only happened to me like once on a specific setup, but basically the soft are you good? locks us. Did you get soft locks? Uh, yeah, where's. Oh, okay, we're well, good. How we're are good. you. What? Whoa, what? Whoa. Because you see, what? yeah, you see on the <laughs> Texas screen that Do we need to reset? the door is open. Where we might need to just checkpoint ahead because uh, <laughs> right, we'll if check. this is anything like last time I had this, there's no fix for this other than having me host. Okay. Uh, that is. Yeah, we'll just so do it over weird. again. It's no worries. It's a super rare thing. Well, let's try it one more time, but yeah, we might just have to skip ahead. Uh, do you want me to uh, pop the door open for you? It, it doesn't matter if that's what's happening, but let, let's try. Okay. I didn't know this door just wouldn't work at some point. Yeah, the only other person I've had this with was Nico, who actually donated earlier uh, when we were doing our practice for this. Uh, this happened on our home PCs, uh, but it worked fine when we had PCs next to each other, so we were still able to do okay. it. I'm, I'm gonna kick it, so be wary. Oh, yeah. what? No. It's okay. No, oh, 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 he opened it. Ah, uh, it's still soft lock. Yeah, it, it's it's soft lock. Okay, so we need to quit, unfortunately, and uh, load the next checkpoints. Uh, end session. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's very seen unfortunate. This it, I don't know what makes this happen, but sometimes it just happens, and there's really not much you can do about it. Uh, what do we skip? Do I do continue? No, okay. you need to chapter select. We need to go on the next one. Okay. Uh, we That's the only way I found to fix this. I chapter imagine four, city and highway. I think it's four two. We were in the shopping district. Were we? Okay. So we skip to airplane crash site because that's yeah okay. So basically, what we're what unfortunately this skips a section of the game, but yeah, with this soft lock happening, there's just nothing I can really do about it. Yeah, so like the section that we're skipping is just us running down. Actually, the... hang on. Let me. I I want to try something if we can. Okay. Uh, if we just change to me to host. Oh, that might work. Uh, the reason why it's also going to work if Tally's hosting is because Texan will always bypass the door because Texan gets to jump all around. Uh, Tally has to wait on the ground floor because there's a uh, there's like one of the monkey bars up there that Jay can go on, but Sherry can't. It's a powerful door. Yeah, I've, I've, I don't think I've ever seen that door do that before. Yeah, this only happened okay. when I practiced with Nico and only on like our home PCs. It's It's super strange. Uh, we also have to reconnect again uh, because sometimes the game just likes to fail connecting to the host. Okay, there we go. So let's see if this is going to work. Hopefully it does. And you just continued us from where we are. Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay. So now we're right where we were. Uh, let's see. Third time's the charm, right? That is true. And if not, we can just skip this section and go into yeah. the airplane crash, which is another Ustinok fight. Which everyone <laughs> loves Ustinok, right? He has fun fights. I actually really like him as a character. He is kind of fun. He's also charming. There's gonna be something later we're gonna see, and it's just my favorite cutscene in the game. 
I don't actually, like, n know his story. I just know that he's a pain in the butt. He <laughs> wants to get the $100 million. <laughs> <laughs> he understands the value of Jake's blood. Okay. Can you get it? Hey! Oh God, there we right. go. Hardest Perfect. boss in the game. <laughs> a door. <laughs> Not just what? any door, the door. Oh, wait, did you disconnect now? I oh. soft locked. Oh, my God. Are you... Okay, I guess it just reversed it. Wait, can, can you move now? Oh, oh, oh. I think you're just stuck with the QTE. What? Oh, this is so strange. Uh, this is, I'm. Yeah, I, I think you're getting the same. Okay, we need to skip ahead with the chapter okay. then, because I, I think you're getting the same self-lock that I had now. I think that okay. door was a two-phase boss fight. <laughs> it really <laughs> yeah. is. Holy All right, so I'm just going to hit no, and then you can set up the chapter, continue. And then just to explain what we're missing, it's just another one of those sections where you have one player go ahead, and then the other one has to wait on the lower side. It's so tedious. Like, I'm fine with skipping that. <laughs> yeah, the only gimmick there is that the lower player normally wants to shoot enemies on the upper side so the upper player can run and get to the door. Yeah. And then there's a lot of Java running around, and uh, do you ha do the chainsaw fight or new? No? Yes. Yes. Okay. You can skip the chainsaw fight? Well, no, it's because uh, I don't know if it happens during that chapter or not. Oh, it does. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Nice yeah, a lot of the Jake and Cherry campaign. You got a lot of like Jake flipping around and doing cool yeah. things and showing off his gymnastics, and Cherry's just kind of like, I'm here too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Which is weird because Cherry also has the G virus in her, so she should be able to do amazing things as well. But yeah. She does, but it's more so the healing factor, I believe, with her. And oh, yeah, also Wesker's son, uh, Laura, I guess. Hmm. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh... It's not really that much. All right, Yasunak <laughs> is back, but this time you have Leon and uh, Helena. Helena, who wants to save her sister but never elaborates further for some reason. And Leon killed yeah. the president. Yeah. All right, so us next have multiple phase here, and we're going to actually be swapping, because this is kind of weird, but they let you co-op with other co-op players, so you can actually work with the Leon and Helena. We're working with AI, Leon and Helena, but we're going to be having uh, Tally over on the bus side, where she's going to have to repair a bus for a QTE, uh, and then we're going to be having Texan doing some damage to the us next. I don't even think he takes, like, damage appropriately. I'm just... There's some. Annoying. It's more than zero, you know? <laughs> And also a bus, uh, bus, bus fixing QTE. Yep. And Leon's right gonna actually fix it. I'm just gonna. Well, you have right. to start the bus. You know what happens when you do that? You get uh, same like motorcycles. All vehicles have that. <clears throat> I thought you were gonna make a Silent Hill downpour joke and say that he's gonna get <laughs> in the bus. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I'm just so excited. I was, I was watching that earlier. There's a lot of excitement around buses. I was gonna say. Oh. The keyboard changed. I didn't see my QTE. <laughs> they add multiple. It's really weird, right? Sure, he's a great driver. Ooh, no, no, please don't touch me. I'm kind of wondering, do you even end up hitting him? Or does he just like. It depends on where he is. You he can just, like, hit him, him, but I think he just like gets pushed to the side. I don't think it actually does any damage to him. Uh, it's like mildly right, inconvenient. So okay, so Last stage of this fight. Eats his drill, and he's gonna blip out of existence. And there we go, it's done. That was the entire fight. <laughs> yeah, there's used to knock down. Again. Again. It's, man, it's almost like there's I'm this dead theme. for real this time. Yeah. Definitely oh, totally. Come back. Yeah, definitely. Totally last time we see him. I mean, I can't believe you drove that tank. You drove that helicopter. Yeah. You <laughs> drove the bus? Wow. <laughs> yeah, you drove every vehicle, ever. I wonder where he got the time to, like, get all these licenses. When you want $100 million, you learn. That is true. <laughs> yep. <laughs> where there's a will, there is a way. Also, you wanted Ada, right? Hang on, where is she? Yeah. I think she's up in the scaffolding. She's, she's flying around. She's somewhere. She's up here somewhere. And then I guess we can talk a little bit about what the Ada campaign does. Um, yeah. As you play RE6, what will happen is you'll have this mysterious person helping out the characters. You don't know who it is, and you actually see her at one point, just Ada. Uh, but she's running around, and she kind of interferes with every campaign. Sometimes she's an enemy, sometimes she helps, uh, sometimes she's straight up an ally. Sometimes uh, she's not even Ada. Yeah, sometimes she's Ada too, because <laughs> this game really loves Ada, so there's two Adas. Yeah, we like to call her Ada wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, which I guess that also kind of leads into like the plot of this game in general, which is the whole reason why the C virus gets released is because the main villain of the story, uh, Simmons, is upsetty spaghetti that Ada doesn't want to be with him anymore. Uh, so he makes an Ada clone whose name, whose actual name is Carla, 
Uh, and she's upset that she got turned into Ada and decides to take uh, revenge against Simmons by uh, basically dropping the sea virus on the world. I don't know why I messed up that QTE. <laughs> it's, it's the boat starting QTE. It's so silly. Okay. Uh, as well for the boat section, uh, you're going to be having Texan driving the boat and Tally will be killing things around. Uh, it's very important that Tally kills things because if Texan does not drive the boat, it'll crash into like a billboard? Like what, what's on the ground? I don't actually know. Uh, like debris. Things. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, pillars, cranes. There we go. Various objects in the ground that will hit the boat. Which I guess, it's funny enough, you just kind of ram into one for the last one. It's just like, oh, yeah. we're going to hit this one anyway. This one's fine. The other ones are like strong. This one's just there. Oh. oh, there she is. There's Ada. Oh, did you find her? Yeah, she's up there. Oh, she's waiting glorious. <laughs> she's sad that the the bid war of Ada lost. She's just kind of watching from afar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's pouting. Exactly. I'm not going to help Look at her. you. Look how great she is. <laughs> Appreciate what, from afar. What a queen. She just chilling? Yeah, yeah, she she just hangs up out, up there until uh, Jake and Cherry knock into here, and then she watches as they struggle to fight. <laughs> what? Okay, what? Bye. <laughs> um, as a glitch takes out the chainsaw. Uh, oh, he's gonna come up enemy. again. I think. Yeah, I think he's coming up on your what? side. He just. It happens. It, it's it's happened a few times. Oh. So now we kind of just need to, we don't actually need to kill him this time, but we're basically just waiting for Ada up there to hit a QTE to drop this thing on us. Also, you know what? Now I think about it, maybe he had the right idea. By merely falling under the boat, he's not just getting like ragdolled by magnums the whole time. Yeah. That is true. That is true. <laughs> his weak point is his legs. Oh, there she is. In all of her glory. Yeah, now she's over there. In all of her silhouette. <laughs> Oh, I just love because the Jake part can just say, all right, I'm going to save Sherry. Check this out. You do nothing, and then just she gets saved. Yeah. You did that. Well, I mean, I cripple. I like I, 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 I hit his weak point until Ada decides that she'll grace us with her presence. So you're just walking towards where her QT is to come save me. It's She's like, hold up. Way. Hold up. I need to get my trigger point. <laughs> <laughs> and there she is. Saving Sherry. Who could that uh, mysterious person be? Very mysterious. Who could it be? She uh, she says something along the lines of uh, in in Ada's campaign, she'll say something along the along the lines of time to return the favor that your parents returned to me, and it's like, but Ada Wesker and yeah, weren't they Sherry's mom were bad? terrible to you? Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. do you mean? <laughs> All right, I now chapter four chapter. Is done. One more chapter left, and. Uh, it's it's gonna be a doozy of a time. I think it's probably my most favorite chapter. This one, and we'll see what that pixel party is all about. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're getting close to the pixel party. Oh, um, and we're gonna ready. become shake. Yeah, we're about to become shake as well. So once again, all their weapons have been taken, but they're gonna get them all back almost immediately. This is kind of like a oh, you're in jail, but you break out by launching Cherry into a vent. Yep. And hey, look, there's your stuff. Conveniently, and low poly rats room away. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the rats have taken your weapons. Look at them. Good luck. Don't Guys, die. I gotta manage my stamina in here because if I end up using my oh, I actually got a spin. Did you? They're really hard to do without a weapon. <laughs> oh, I see you spin. Oh, nice. yeah. So um, we haven't talked about this yet because we haven't really ran into it. Uh, other campaigns are going to have characters crawling. If you crawl normally and use the sprints, usually it's slower. Uh, we would do the trick here, but we don't have weapons sure. to really do it, so it's a little bit tougher. But what you can do is if you roll to the left or right, it moves faster and it doesn't take stamina. Yeah. So sometimes you'll just have characters like rolling just and it's, oh, hey, this is faster. Also, yes. this enemy is kind of terrible. They sort of keep respawning kind of deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that first one we also need to kill before we even can open this door. I call them regenerators. I know that's not what they are. Their actual name I cannot pronounce. Okay. Electricity. All right, so now we need to power up a bunch of batteries. It's going to be a lot of platforming. I don't know. Fu, do you have any more messages for us? I was about to ask. Like, you want some donations? Go for um. it. <laughs> So from earlier, we had a $25 donation from Charmark that said, so what Tally's saying is that this has only happened many times before? <laughs> yes. 
And then we also have $5 from Susie Baca who says, Sherry took driver's ed as an elective. <laughs> <laughs> Great run so far. Keep it up. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love these comments. They're hilarious. I think we we'll probably get one or two more, right? We got no choice. Oh, yeah, we could do a oh, few yeah. more. Sure. We have $25 from Foopy, who says, all my friends are donating, so I felt left out. <laughs> Go Tex and Tally. <laughs> thank you, Foopy. Yeah, thank you. Foopy. Then we have $50 from Shunned Owl, who says, Leon! <laughs> <laughs> what if you rescued me and I was a tiny mouse? What would you do? <laughs> donating to get in the drawing for Mousely. Oh. <laughs> All right, so now we're beginning the actual thing here. Um, we have to go around this giant platform that's going to spin, activate these switches that are going to power up the elevator. And the big thing is that they're going to be having, they're going to have to take different routes because one of the paths requires Jake's jumping. They really wanted to use that, his acrobatic skills in this game. So they're like, ah, use this bar to leap across great bounds. Oh yeah, we never talked about it as well, but if you ever get lost in this game, there is actually a straight up where do I go button, which yeah, will give you a giant arrow that just tells you, this is where I go. Like if I ever get lost here, it just, hey, uh, where'd I have to jump as Jake again? Oh, here it is. Very helpful for this part, especially. Dude. Yeah. I get so confused on this part. I like it, it's cool. It's great. <sighs> I thought he was gonna grab one of us. <laughs> one of us. So now I know, okay, this is where I need to jump off. Excellent. No. You probably saw me do it during chapter two when we were dealing with the, that uh, Ustinok section um, where we were uh, being the stealthiest, as stealthy as we can be. Um, because if you're in like a, if you're stuck in like a cutscene that you're still allowed to like air quotes move in, if you rapidly press the GPS button, it will position your character to look towards that section. Oh, let's go grab. Yeah, same. Oh, one of the, there is one downside of not getting the air up, though, and it's with the cell phones. Every character has a different HUD and a different phone. Yes. Like, I guess every campaign. Yeah. But I love Ada's because it's a cube. It's not like a cell phone, like an actual like, cell phone no, or no, anything. No, no, no. Oh, you missed it. Oh, oh, no, oh. I missed the cycle. Bye, Tex. <laughs> it's okay. I was, I was protecting our booties. Yep. I think Jake also has the cube. I just love the cube. It's right. so fun. It's so, so silly. Good. Like, it's not like a phone. It's straight up like a cube. How does she like? How yeah, do they yeah. get on their pockets? It's a cube that she like snaps open <laughs> like this, and it's it's so weird. <laughs> it's glorious. Like just think about like shoving a Rubik's cube in your pocket, but it has like technology on it. It also has like a projector in it. I think. Yeah, the future you is powerful. See it in the cutscenes. Far off, distant future yeah, of like 2012. <laughs> Yeah, like even the UI kind of like reflects what they're what they're supposed to be holding. Yeah. yeah. And I think his is just like a it it looks like a cube. I like the cube. Hey, there we go. So uh, now Texan is on the platform, and uh, his is gonna be nice because it's gonna go to the. Hey, girl. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey. Go to the upper levels. I gotta get I gotta get to G. Yeah, and if it looks like we're sometimes running around sporadically waiting on those platforms, it's to avoid getting hit by the enemies while we wait. Because sometimes that can happen. You're waiting for the platform, and then an enemy comes up, grabs you, and you know you need to break out of the grab, and then the platform's already past you by the time you're out. Which is very unfortunate. You don't want that to happen. Also, I do want to say that in addition uh, just to having Resident Evil 6 at GDQ as a speedrun game, people who actually speedrun this game, I, I, I'm not sure you two can attest this as well, it controls pretty well these days. It actually Honestly, is pretty yeah. fun and mm -hmm. fluid. Yeah. yeah. Like, shockingly so, because a lot of people always talk trash yeah. about this game. It's pretty fun these days. I'm going to avoid this guy so that Tally can shoot him to trigger the next series of events that we have to go through. <laughs> we finally powered the battery, and oh no, now we have too much power. We are too strong. <laughs> We're uncontainable. First, there's no power, now there's too much. At least the elevator works. I will say, this game has an amazing control scheme. Uh, if you just want to pick it up, even just check out the mercenaries mode, that is probably the best way to like really explore how this game controls. Mm -hmm. You have so much in the terms of like how you move, how you shoot. Like If you're on the ground, you have different options. Uh, we were talking about rolling earlier. Like That's an option when you're shooting. It's, it's wild. Yeah. Uh, I would absolutely recommend exploring it. But really? That's just me. <laughs> the only complaint I have about this game quite frequently is that, especially if you're doing it in one long haul, like you saw earlier, we had a section where Leon was in a section here. We had Chris in a section. So what happens is if you do like the Leon story, you'll fight the Ustinak, and then you do the Jake story, and then you're doing the exact same fight again, but this time it's Jake. And that happens a lot, yeah. so it just kind of gets really long because you're replaying some of the sections. 
Personally, oh, I kind of like now. that because what I really like about this when you play it casually is that like you first play one campaign and that gives you like you know a perspective on the story. But there's so much more to it. So then you play the other campaigns and you see all the different perspectives and it really pieces the whole thing together. I just think that's a really cool storytelling thing. Yeah, as as much guff as I give this game, I I appreciate the what they did with it. Yeah. Um, although I would say play it with a friend. It is ten times better with a friend. You do not need to deal with AI, which makes life way easier. Or just play Ada. Or play Ada. <laughs> also, I just want to give a quick uh, props to this section here because the desync always makes it like one player's not get crushed. Yeah. Like, if you look on one side, or if you're like looking at text inside and you look at the Sherry character, uh, you'll kind of just see them like falling way behind or vice versa, and it's always kind of funny because like, oh no, they're gonna get crushed, and then oh no, they're fine. Oh, man, we, I don't think we've been experiencing desync today. Oh, it's been pretty good, actually, apart from that one door. <laughs> yeah, uh, normally um, on my end, I'll see Jake drop into the void, or like Sherry will drop into the void because of the desync. Yeah. Or like what's happening oh, with there Sherry. Oh, right there it is right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like just in it. the machine and, oh no, she's going to die. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, she's going to get crushed. <laughs> and then you look at Tali's screen and she's doing A OK. Also, since we are getting close to the end, do we want to do our plugs and shoutouts like now? Uh, let's do it when we get to Pixel Party. All right. Because we, we, all we're doing is mashing. That's fair. Oh, Wait, hey, we it's have Chris. an auto scroller though. <laughs> Lit. There's one over there too. Oh yeah, we do have an auto scroller here. So I mean, donations, send offs, <laughs> whatever, whatever we want to do. Let's do some shoutouts, and then we probably have time to spare. Yeah. All right. So yeah, if you want to see more of you know me after this, if you've enjoyed the, the 102 Dalmatians run, if you've enjoyed this run, uh, you can find me on Twitch.tv slash Tainted Tally. I do retro games. I do horror games. Uh, and we're, once we're Just back home from this, we're planning to do an all campaigns run of our E6. Because mm -hmm. we have learned all the campaigns. So if that's something you want to see, you could come follow us. This, uh, this has been, uh, what, almost a full year's adventure of learning all the campaigns for Resident Evil 6 so that we can do all the, the all campaigns uh, speed run, which is like six or seven hours long. Yeah. And they so. put a lot of work into it. So I want to give so much cheers to that. Yeah. And also, once we're done with that all campaigns, we are going to move over to Dead Rising 2, which, or off the record for us, but you know, Dead Rising 2 is coming up after this as well. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Vanilla 2 is uh, is good. Same thing with OTR. Um, <laughs> hold on. Uh, I, I guess I will also plug myself. Uh, you can uh, see me at twitch.tv backslash Texan, red, Texan underscore red underscore wolf. Uh, where I do a lot of challenge runs lately, but uh, every Saturday morning I'm normally streaming with Tally doing Resident Evil 6 or co-op runs. Do you want to do a quick plug too, even though you have your run later? I'll be on next. I like RE6. That's my jam. It's like RE6. I think it's a cool game. There you go. Follow him at Dices. Check out Tainted Tally and Texan Red Wolf. <laughs> Please, yes. I'll be, yeah, we're still auto-scrolling for a bit more, so Fu, maybe you have some messages as well? Sure thing. We do have a one thousand hey. dollar donation. Which is so awesome. Very awesome. Amazing. This is from DG two one one who says, "Amazing event as always." Oh, we, we we didn't we didn't make the joke, but um, the thing that hatches out of this cocoon looks like chaos from Sonic, but oh, yeah. it, there's no C in the name, so it's chaos. Haas. Yeah, we 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 call we call it chaos when we play Chris. Yeah. And when we kill it, it's BIOS. <laughs> yeah, we have, a, I think, a little bit more here. The whole goal is just kill these guys as they hop on your elevator, and it's supposed to be like a gunfight you compete against other people yeah. with. So. We're going up there, so yeah, we still have a little bit of time. Yep. Yeah, you can probably uh, read off a couple more. Hello. Um, we do have a, okay, a $15 donation. This is from Mak Mako Shark. He says, excited to donate during Horror Block. As a horror speedrun community is amazing and has done a lot for me in my few years of happily watching and learning how to do spooky stuff super fast. Happy to see so many faces who inspire me day to day too. This donation is in honor of my grandma who passed a year ago around this time. All right, so we are almost up. All right, say goodbye to Chris and Piers. Bye, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. All right, now we're uh, gearing up for the final boss. Uh, well, there's two final bosses. We're hitting the actual gameplay final boss. Let's say that. Uh, can you hold on 
One second, I need sure. to no, just switch to your shooting while in the meantime. Okay, uh, it's five. So right now they're upgrading their skill sets because they're going to need a very particular set of skills for this upcoming fight because we're going to have a very unique way of doing uh, this final boss. Also, I like how there's just lava here. <laughs> you know, a huge foundry. I, uh, it's just kind of here. Yeah. Are you all ready to see Usnok again? <laughs> He's back. Thanks, Jake. A, yeah. ma a man of many words. Well, I usually <laughs> enter a building. Uh, so uh, much like you've seen in all of our other uh, situations in dealing with Ustinok, uh, we're just going to annihilate him with the Magnum until Jake says something very specific, and I will be swapping out my um, uh, skill set. So this is phase two of the fight. Phase one, they just nuked them. Phase two is going to have a QTE here. Uh, here we go. I believe we're getting the skill set swapped in a moment here. And the final fight is not going to have magnums, I'm pretty sure. No. No, we Why? will be using our weapon right now. The Usnak's tired of getting shot. <laughs> He's been shot for like about, what, an hour and 20 minutes now or so. And he's just going to... No. He's going to like tiptoe it off. Yep. Like, no. Yeah, no more guns. All right, we are now, well, again, a fist fight, and uh, Tally will may, may or may not try and stun him. I know it's a little finicky. But yeah, uh, this campaign ends in a boxing match. Come on, so I'm trying to, like, hold. Hold up. And it's not moving forward. You hear that music? Hold on, it's... That's Sherry. That's Sherry with the steel chair. <laughs> <laughs> My Ooh, God, she nearly there. killed him. Oh, damn, I missed Ooh. it. Yeah, uh, I got grabbed. That's all right. Just knock him out. <laughs> okay. I absolutely love this set piece. It is so it's over so the top. It's so over the top. Oh, uh, a suplex! Nice. Oh, oh God, suplex! <laughs> I have no idea why my whole, it's not holding my palm strike, but Aim. that's fine. We're just showcasing how ridiculous this fight can be, really. Oh, there oh, it is. There we go. Controls just for this oh, there it is. All right. It's time. All right. Mash A to punch. <laughs> Good lord. Alright, we're getting really close to the pixel party now. I hope you're all ready. Yeah, best part. I was to say, heads up to the producers. Uh, the game's not broken. It just, it just looks like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I know Twitch. Uh, what? Uh, it's the uh, bit raid. <laughs> we will have serious screen tearing right in front here as well. Probably worse than you see them on stream. That's just the game. Yeah. yeah. We promise it's just the game. Nothing broken. And now so time for the true around. final boss. Yeah, this, you know, what exactly is coming. I need to say it. Right. Is it? Is it Usnok? But well, two no, things. Two things. Two things. Two things. Is clearly dead. Oh yeah, QTEs. QTEs, yeah, QTEs. and Ustadak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't think he's down after that, do you? He learned to drive a tank for you. <laughs> All right, this is about to get ridiculous. All right, again. Oh, oh, it's so beautiful. I love the screen tear. It's gonna get worse. It's, oh, getting it's worse. gonna get way better. I don't know what y'all are talking about. It's also, not I just, here comes the pixel party. <laughs> Let's go. It's gonna directly attack your bit rate. So Snack has learned that you're streaming yeah. this game right now. <laughs> so the last section of this game is us mashing left and right triggers and hitting B because we got to get away. I think we have one A in there, too. Uh, I, yeah, we do. I think the A is the shake. I think so? I think I E remember. shake. Yeah. I don't remember. I think A is when you drop the stuff, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll see out of the way. Yeah. But also, I love the way they crawl. They just like, slam their hands into yeah. the ground. They're really going for it. Yeah, some last shout-outs while we're doing this. I want to give a shout-out to the Resident Evil community, and especially for Solus Persona and Desert Eagle when it comes to RE6. Uh, they've both been super helpful, and just whenever we've been stuck on things or, like, looking to improve or learn stuff like, you know, the Ogre Man skip or everything, they've both been incredibly willing to just, you know, sit down with us and just talk us through what's going on. And just, they've been amazing. So, yeah, if you want to learn the game as well, we do have super great people in the community. So come learn RE6. It's so much fun. Uh, I second what Tally said. Um, also want to be sappy and shout out Tally for uh, convincing me to come back to this game. 
Uh, I used to street, uh, used to run it solo, and uh, she messaged me and was like, "Hey, do you want to play co-op?" And I was like, "Uh, Resident Evil Six? Are you sure?" All right, let's be dedicated to it, and it's honestly been the most fun I've had on my Saturdays is and being able to play this. And now you've run into GDQ. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Look, Ma, I made it. <laughs> All right, we are very close to final time, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, I, originally, like, if we're doing this, like, speedrun Valen, we would end time when we see, like, the results screen, but I want to show you the last cutscenes. We're going to end time on the final input, which is this gun. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be B. So we skip this and B. All right, there we go. Time. Yeah, time. Oh, also, quick shout out to Retroheart for yes. hanging out with us and being our resident expert on Resident Evil. We appreciate you, Thank uh, you being so calm. much. I really appreciate you having me here. It's been fantastic. Yeah, uh, this was uh, the J campaign. Thank you again, everyone, for donating me for this. This is definitely our favorite co-op campaign. Again, Ada's campaign is also great, but it's better solo, I, I promise. Yeah. yeah. And now we have become Shake. Yeah, we have become Shake. That's, uh, that's where that joke comes from. <laughs> this is incredibly cute. <laughs> So cute. So One precious. last explosion. A little bit more pixel party on yeah. the way out. It's still screen tearing, even in the cutscene. <laughs> it's so great. It used to not became an explosion. <laughs> an explosion of love. Yep. There you go. We're holding hands. Aww. There it is. There it is. There's the shake. By the way, they had to do like a double QTE to fire one gun. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yes, we did. Uh, but yeah, that's our six. Thank you so much for having us. It's been an absolute blast. And yeah, come follow us and stay tuned for Dead Rising 2 coming yeah. up next. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Alrighty, awesome job to the two of you. Oh, this block is so good. This is one of my favorite times every GDQ. Scary Games block. Oh, it's so good. I hope you all have enjoyed as much as I have. I just was... Enjoying that last bit. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get in. A, a quick donation, just a quick callback. We have $20 from Ace Delusional who says, yes, sir. <laughs> That's it, don't worry. <laughs> Alrighty, we will be taking a quick break. As per the usual, always good to stretch Get water, whatever you need to do. And don't worry, as you saw, the one and only Ectisis hanging out during this last run and now is getting ready to do Dead Rising himself. So uh, Dead Rising 2 is coming up. We'll be right back. All right, chat. You know, as we're hanging out here, for those, you know, maybe some of you got up and did a little break, but as we are hanging out for a little bit, setting up for the next one, let's, uh, don't forget to be involved in some of the awesome little things we have here on the break screen. 
Okay, I just have to mention really quick how much I absolutely adore um, our little donation total, different gaming screens. Oh, so cute. We've also got our little Bomberman competition going on with Red winning out on the percentages right now. You can always use your channel points in chat. You got that, chefs? I'd also love to know some of your favorite runs that you've experienced today. I adore all the yes chefs and chats, amazing. <laughs> Overcooked was so good. Choo Choo Trials is great. Definitely a strange run. <laughs> Love getting the feedback. We're here for you. Stay involved. Keep on watching. We have so many good runs left as well on the schedule. If you haven't checked it out, you can always go to gamesonquick.com. That's where we have all of our prize information. You can see all these amazing things that you can donate and uh, potentially get um, incentives, etc. And we are already over 10% of the way there to the Mario Odyssey bonus game, which is incredible. Incredible. So keep that up. Good job, chefs. Alrighty, just wanna just wanna say I hope that you are enjoying this lovely early morning now um, during this Summer Game Sun Quick 2023 powered by Twitch. I want to get in some more donations before we get into the next run. So let's get twenty-five dollars in from D Magico, who says, "Good morning, everyone. This has been an awesome week so far, and we're only halfway through. Let's keep going. To everyone, and especially the donation readers, <laughs> keep on keeping on." We have $10 from Herp Derp DK, who says total speed run saturation. <laughs> and speaking of that Odyssey bonus run, we have $20 from Geldian, who says all the bonus games, all the time, less than three. $50 from Frilly Lily, who says great way to end a night shift. Let's get that Mario Odyssey bo uh, bonus run. And you know, we have $25 from Anonymous, who says less than three. Less than three, right back at you. <laughs> $10 from Anonymous, who says, thanks to the runners and staff for the awesome event. Also, greetings to my fiance, Tabia, who is currently watching. And we have $50 from Solvo who says, it's Wednesday, my chefs. <laughs> we have $30 coming in from Z-Man Infinity who says, a bit late, but yes, sir. Welcome to GDQ Choo Choo Charles of Bird 650. That was a fantastic run. Keep being awesome. It was a great run.
We have $20 from Tears for Fear. Okay, I'm going to give this a shot. Um, shout, shout, let it all out. These are the gifts we can't do without. Come on. I'm talking to you. Come on. <laughs> it is late for me. <laughs> We have $10 from Elite Dev who says, long time watcher, first time donator. After years of studying and exams, I am finally able to catch a GDQ event fully from start to finish. Best of luck to all the runners and thanks to the GDQ staff and tech for putting on this event. Well, thank you for donating and watching. Oh, so exciting. We are ready for this Dead Rising 2 time skip new game run by Egg Dices. Take it away, my friend. <laughs> 